Originally, it was thought these barriers allowed fish to move easily under the road, but the small opening meant the water flowed through under high pressure. The fish were unable to swim against the tide, restricting their access to upstream habitat. So this week, the old barrier was removed from Tui's Mill Road and replaced with a fish-friendly bridge. Well, you can actually see more native fish upstream now. We've opened up about 30 kilometres of fish habitat, which is just fantastic. So here on Skinner's Creek, there's now no fish barrier from its source right up in the catchment out to the sea. Removing the old barrier, key to increasing the number of native fish in our waterways. That's why the Recreational Fishing Freshwater Trust gave $10,000 to the project. Everyone in the end's a winner. Residents have a safer crossing, fishers have more fish to catch, and the fish are free to move about. It's just like people, they need lots of room uh, to move and to, to breed and to live and all the rest of it. Fish are exactly the same, they need lots of different types of habitat. So you, lots of the, um, the fish in, in eastern Australia, they move up and down the streams to different feeding grounds, different habitat, different spawning grounds. It's hoped all the existing barriers in the region will be replaced within the next few years. Miranda Saunders in Fernley, Prime News.